the genealogy of Jesus, the son of David, son of Abraham. <laughs> Good morning, family and friends. Certainly today's gospel passage is long and different, yeah? You know, when I get this gospel passage for readings, it's a nightmare for me to pronounce all those difficult names. The genealogy of Jesus. These days, people are so interested in their ancestry and ancestry.com because they want to find out who their ancestors are, you know, their parents, grandparents, and their genes. That helps them to value their life and understand more and more about themselves. Today's Gospel, we see the three sets of 14 generations mentioned. The Hebrew letter, when you write 14, the word nun means Messiah. Messiah. So Matthew is telling his people that Jesus Christ is the Messiah. Whatever the theological meaning is, there are a lot of meanings we can attribute to this gospel reading. What I would like to concentrate is the first sentence itself. The genealogy of Jesus, the son of David, the son of Abraham. And Matthew is giving a, a direct link that Jesus came from the heritage of Abraham and David. Abraham and David. So what we learn? First of all, we learn about God's faithfulness. As God promised, and his promises were fulfilled. As he promised to Abraham. It took years. That's what we learn. Second thing that we learn about God's promises fulfills in his own time. You know, not in our own chronological time, but in chaos of God. We have to wait patiently, praying, trusting in God. Today, as a Trinitarian, I can say that we celebrate the feast of our founder, St. John de Mata. St. John de Mata was born in Faucon in France. He was a great visionary and a missionary, a man filled with compassion. From his childhood onwards, his heart was filled with compassion especially helping out the poor and, ne and the needy. A man filled with vision during his first mass in the year 1193, he saw this beautiful vision that Christ exchanged two people. And thus he began to, to, to captives actually, the Christ is exchanging two captives. And he began to ransom especially Christian brothers and sisters. A man of inspiration who inspired so many people. The reason I am here and many other Trinitarians are here just because of our founder John of Mata. Because of his mission, his vision and inspiration. We the Trinitarians today serve in so many countries helping out the poor, the needy, and the persecuted. We believe and pray and trust in God's promises. And we trust that God's promises will be fulfilled. God may give us courage. Amen.